friends welcome to my channel how you doing first off I just want to say if you hear anything in the background my mother-in-law's new puppy is a psychopath and she's in the kennel so you'll probably hear her screaming at some point or another secondly I just want to say how's how are you go how you doing how you doing today <laughs> Today's makeup look, I don't even, I don't even know what to call this, what this is. I was having just a really, not necessarily bad day, but I guess I was just in a really low, kind of gloomy mood. I'm moving this weekend, I have a lot going on. I just woke up feeling kind of in a rut, and I decided that on my lunch break, I was going to come in here and just play with makeup. I didn't know what I wanted to do when I sat down to film. I didn't know what I was thinking. That to me was just so therapeutic and so fun and I just came up with this like red double winged gold liner thing going down. I really wanted to add some gold freckles at the end and like mix with like faux, faux brown and gold like freckles but I'm going to the movies later to go see Guardians of the Galaxy, and I didn't want to be that extra in the movie theaters, but maybe I will, who knows. But anyway, yeah, this is just kind of like what I came up with, and I just want to say, you know, if you're ever having a bad day, or, you know, you're ever trying something new with makeup, don't stress yourself out when doing your makeup. It's just makeup. You can wash it off. If you want to come in here and just play around and mess around with colors or techniques, you know, don't be afraid to do that. Have fun with it. Like, that's... That's to me is the best part of makeup is just it's another canvas. It's a way to get creative. It's a way to just do something fun, do something that you love and try something new. You know, you'll see in the video I actually tried to do a negative space liner and I think just with my eye shape and the brush I was using it just was not working out which is why I ended up going over it with the gold liner and the black. And you'll see me leave that all in. You know, I didn't edit it out because... I wanted to show you guys that it's okay to try something, have it not work out, and just improvise, fix it, wash it off, try again, it's okay. Comment below, see what you guys think. Um, I am moving this weekend, so I'm sorry this video is going to be up a little bit late. Once I get into our new place back in Vegas, I will have a regular uploading schedule. I'm probably going to be pushing out about two videos a week, hopefully. So be on the lookout for that. Yeah, I appreciate you guys um, watching and supporting my channel so far. It really means the world to me. I've so, I've had so much fun doing this and just learning how to edit. I'm so technologically challenged. So I really appreciate your time and effort and patience with everything and every like, subscribe, comment, you know, suggestion on what you guys want to see just really helps me so much. You know, I really want this to be a fun creative place where we can all learn and grow and just talk about things that we love so i will see you guys next time i hope you have a great day and thanks for watching <laughs> bye all right guys so we went ahead and did my brows off camera as well as prime them with my mac painterly paint pot and now i'm just going in with our first transition shade which is coral by mac i absolutely love this shade it's so pretty I'm just building this up in the crease, blowing it out with a big fluffy brush. And then I went ahead and went in with Blanc Type by MAC to just hit my brown bone real quick. Um, give it a nice matte highlight before blending it out with that fluffy brush again so there are no harsh lines. And this is a step you could totally skip, uh, but I just went in with a little bit of Mango Tango just to give that crease a little more punch. Now I'm going in with Venetian Red from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm taking a very, very, very small amount of this at first. And slowly, slowly, slowly building it up. You never want to go in with too much product and then have to try to blend it all out. It's so much better, so much easier to go in with a small amount and slowly build it up to the intensity that you want. It'll really help your looks just look so much more neat and cohesive and you'll feel like you're more in control of your makeup look. Here I'm just taking that same Venetian Red but on a um, smaller tapered blending brush and digging that into the crease to help build up that pigment. And then just swip, just going in back and forth between the tapered blending brush and a big fluffy brush to make sure that there are no harsh lines. 
Now I'm going in with this shade from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. This is really neon pink. I just wanted the crease to give a little bit more of a punch. And I thought this, this would add just a little bit more dimension to the look. And after each step, I'm really going in with that big fluffy brush to make sure that everything's just really blown out and smooth. Now I'm taking Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance Palette. It's just a really deep magenta-y color. And I'm taking that on that tapered blending brush again and putting that into my crease. As well as taking that same shade on a pencil brush to hit that inner corner of my eye. I really wanted the inner corner to have a lot of depth and dimension because I wanted to try the negative space liner, which didn't work out, but you'll see what we did instead later. Um, and then I'm just throwing that coral shade by MAC on the lid to sort of blend everything together so it all looks cohesive. And then taking a little bit of Bitten from Makeup Geek to go ahead and just add a little bit more depth to that inner corner. I wanted it to be really just red and dark in that inner corner. Now I'm taking some concealer on this little flat brush. <laughs> um, I find that it just did not give me the control that I wanted when I was going in. Um, it just wasn't moving the product around the way I wanted it to. So then I went ahead and tried to use a smaller liner brush to lay down the product, but I found that it just didn't blend out that Tarte Shape Tea Concealer the way I wanted it to. Um, it was great and precise for giving me a really sharp wing, which was amazing, and I had lots and lots of control. But as you can see right here, I just, it almost gunked everything up without laying it down smooth that way I could pack shadow on top of it it just ended up being really inconsistent and sort of gloppy on my eyelid but not to fret <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna try this again and you know mess around with it because I just really think this is such a cool just technique to do and I've seen so many people do it and it just looks really really pretty so as you can see I'm just going ahead and I'm still sharpening up that wing here and trying it out seeing what we can work with um, I went in and ended up trying to set it with some RCMA powder but it just did not go over well it still looks super gloppy so I decided to take a break <laughs> from that and went in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to just go ahead and seal my under eyes, hit the high points on my face. One thing I will say is if you're new to using the Tarte Shape Tape, um, work in small sections of your face at a time. This concealer tends to set really, really quickly. So sometimes I put so much on my face at once that I'm not giving my time myself enough time to blend it out. And I'm like, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> I don't know what to do because it's starting to set already. But I'm just using that to highlight my face, hit that forehead. And then I tried to blend the liner into the concealer so it looked really seamless just because my foundation is obviously darker and I used concealer for the wing and it just did not end up working out at all. <laughs> so I just went ahead and set that concealer with the same RCMA no color powder and then going in with my... Um, Wet n Wild powder in Reserve Your Cabana. It's actually, a, or sorry, it's actually a bronzer, but it's really light and it makes a great glowy face powder. And it's only like five bucks at the drugstore. It's really pretty. I got this idea from It's Likely Makeup on YouTube. She's amazing. And then of course I had to use my butter bronzer and I mixed it with a little bit of the Wet n Wild. I believe it's called Sandgria. They're like Sandgria bronzer. It's really, really pretty. It has a little bit of sheen to it. And to contour, I'm taking my NYX Blush in Taupe. It's this really pretty, deep, 
cool toned gray color that's perfect for contouring around your nose and your cheekbones. To highlight, I'm using the Kat Von D Alchemist palette and I'm taking the pink shade from there just to tie in the pink on my eyes to my face. But I ended up layering that up with the Wet n Wild Precious Petals highlighter and then putting on some MAC blush in Warm Soul. And I love to spritz my face with lots of Fix Plus just to make sure that all of the powders just really meld into my skin. So here's where I decided that I hated the <laughs> negative space wing. So I took the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the peach shade to go ahead and go over the wing with the peach. These creams just set really nicely and stay all day and it was so easy to work with on my liner brush. Didn't glop up. I'm going to take that coral shade and work on the under eye, just buff that out. Then I took Venetian Red and Love Letter and hit that on an angled brush to just smush that really close to my lower lash line before taking my pencil brush and a fluffy brush to blend everything out. Then we're going to hit that inner corner and brow bone with some nylon by MAC and oldie but a goodie. It's so pretty. And I thought the gold in there really tied in with the gold of the Precious Petals highlighter that we use by Wet n Wild too. Then I decided I want to do a double wing with my Inglot number, number 77 gel liner which I thought just looked freaking awesome. And I popped on some Ardell Studio FX lashes real quick. And then touched up the liner with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper just to make sure everything was really sharp and neat. And our double liner was on fleek. Now we're going to take a ColourPop liner in Beeper. This is honestly my new favorite lip combo. It is so pretty. These ColourPop lip liners are amazing and they're only $5. So if you haven't checked them out already, please do. They're awesome. So smooth. Stay on all day. And then I use their Ultra Satin Lip in, what shade is this? Strip and pop that on the lips. These are so comfortable, guys. They're so much better than their Ultra Matte Lips. I'm going to put some mascara on. I believe this is just a plain black Mary Kay mascara. Throw some L'Oreal Telescopic on the lower lashes. Gotta check everything out and we're good to go guys. Thanks so much for watching.